Hey everyone, it's Amber, and thanks for coming back to my channel. Today we're going to do another video in my series, my little mini series of using up your paper. So this is another use up your 12 by 12 paper. This can be double sided, it can be single sided, and today I'm using some 12 by 12 single sided paper. And I'm going to show you the paper pad that I'm using today because it is my favorite paper pad of all time besides the Le Cirque collection by Graphic 45. But, I mean, let's just face it, this, this paper pad that I'm about to show you is a close, close, close second to that Graphic 45 collection. So before I show you the paper pad, I do want to say that I learned how to pamphlet stitch for this video because we're going to be, of course, making a junk journal today. And I've actually been looking into and studying up on different book binding techniques and today I am actually partnering with Skillshare. They're sponsoring today's video and Skillshare is an online learning community and it's this website that is so incredible it's got thousands upon thousands of classes and workshops in pretty much any subject you can think of. So I'm on my phone more than anything more than the computer and so I immediately downloaded their app and the great thing about Skillshare is that if you're a member, you have unlimited access to all of their workshops, all of their classes, and it, the possibilities are just endless with Skillshare. The annual membership for Skillshare actually ends up being very, very affordable. It works out to be just under $10 a month, and like I said, you get unlimited access to everything on their website, all the classes, all the workshops. However, in this video, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link below and the first 500 people to sign up through my link will get two months free of Skillshare Premium. So that is two months of unlimited access to pretty much any subject you can think of. So if you're creative and you want to learn and you just want to go and um, you know explore Skillshare, please go down, click on that link and hopefully you'll be one of the first 500 people and you'll get two months free. Another great thing about Skillshare is the opportunity to teach. You can go onto Skillshare and become a teacher. Like I mentioned, there are thousands upon thousands of workshops and classes in all different creative categories. So if you are you know, skilled in something that you would like to educate people on, then Skillshare is definitely the platform for that. So again, if you're interested, make sure you click on the link below to get your free two months of Skillshare Premium. Okay, so back to the tutorial, and I'm sure a lot of you already figured out that this paper pad I've been going on and on about is the Wildflower Paper Pad by We Are Memory Keepers backslash American Crafts. You know the one I'm talking about. It's this gorgeous one here. I think this is maybe the only paper pad that I absolutely love every single page. It's just got the most gorgeous colors, the most beautiful prints, and it's just so pretty. So what I've done is I've pulled out seven sheets of the 12 by 12 paper. So you can use any paper pad with this. If you have the Hot Buys from Michaels, go ahead and get those out. And like this, like I said, this can be used for double-sided or single-sided paper. So as I was saying, I pulled out seven of the 12 by 12 sheets. That's how many we're going to use in this junk journal. So before we get started on the tutorial, I want to give a shout out to the three channels that have completely inspired me and just I'm in awe of these women. So these channels are Jessica and she is I'm a cool mom and Nazi and she is Amity Bloom and then Rebecca and her channel is Rebecca Hoot and she is also create with Rebecca on Instagram so these women are so amazing and have inspired me to make my very first junk journal let me show you some of the other things that we're gonna put in our journal so I pulled seven pieces of 12 by 12 paper and also I just went to my stash and I pulled out a couple of like little paper bags so I pulled this one these are like those flat paper bags. I pulled a plain brown one, a glassine. I have this like craft 
colored glassine. We may not use all these, but this is kind of like a simple formula to a journal. And then I had this red gingham one. We'll see if it matches. And it doesn't really even have to match. And I am also going to be using my envelope punch board by We Are Memory Keepers. So I'll grab that in just a second. And I also wanted to show you so I'm also going to be using some filler pages, and this is the Georgia Pacific paper that I got at Target. And if you can't find it at your Target, I'm going to link it below for you. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and pull out about 10 sheets of this. And this is like the 28 pound, super bright. So you can coffee dye these if you want to. Um, you can just leave them clean and white like I am. Um, it just doesn't matter. You can do really anything with these. So I'm going to pull out about 10 sheets of those. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is choose the cover. Um, I really love this floral page right here. This is definitely going to be the cover to my junk journal. So let's go ahead and set that aside for right now. So with the rest of these, you're going to be cutting these beautiful sheets down to 8.5 by 8.5. Okay, remember to save these scraps because we're going to use them. We're going to use some of them in the journal. So here's my eight and a half by eight and a half sheet, and I'm going to cut the rest of these. Okay, I cut all those down, and with the cover, this is the cover of our journal. We are going to cut this eight and a half tall by nine wide. Okay, so let's first cut it down to eight and a half. And then this way we're going to cut it to nine, just a little bit bigger than the ones, than the others that we cut. So that's our cover. So now we have our six pages that are eight and a half by eight and a half, our cover that's eight and a half by nine. And then we have these scraps left over. The first thing we're going to do is get out, get out your envelope punch board if you have one of these. And if you don't, there's so many templates online if you don't want to purchase one of these where you can make envelopes. And we're just going to choose one of our eight and a half by eight and a half sheets to make an envelope. And I think I'm going to choose this pretty yellow one. So I'm just going to go here and there's an eight and a half by eight and a half measurement and it makes a three by seven and a half envelope. So I made the envelope and I don't really know what's going on here, but I think something was like there was a measurement off or something, but I'm going to make it work. This here is just too long, so I'm just going to cut that off. It's still really cute though. It's a pocket. I'm going to actually cut this off a little more. And, and then this here is too long, if you can see. So I really don't know what I did wrong, but we're going to make it work. I think I'm just going to cut this off and make it be like one of these kind of cute envelopes. Ooh, that turned out really cute. So, and the reason I'm using double sided tape is because I'm going to show you how we're going to put this in the journal and we're not going to seal it up quite yet. Kind of put the tape there so we're ready when we want to put it in our journal. Okay, so let's put the envelope aside. So now you're going to take your cover and go ahead and fold it in half. Okay. You don't have to crease it down um, really well right now. Uh, we'll do that when it's all put together. So for your cover, make sure that it's eight and a half tall by nine wide. So it so it ends up being eight and a half by four and a half. Then you're going to take the rest of your papers and you're going to fold those all in half. Okay, so now we've got all of our pages folded in half. Isn't this becoming so, isn't, aren't these so pretty?
So go ahead and set those aside and then take some of your paper bags that you pulled and just fold those in half. And then you're going to take your 10 white sheets and you're going to cut these down to eight and a half by eight and a half. So they're already eight and a half this way. So all you have to do is stick these in. I took like three sheets at a time and cut them down to eight and a half. So then I like to take some of the smaller scraps and then fold those in half. So let's take the white pages and take the take two in batches of three and then one in a batch of four and just fold those in half. Okay, you guys, now we have all of our goodies folded in half. We might have to do some trimming on the bags, but that's okay. We'll do that in just a second. Um, but let's go ahead and design the way that we want our journal. So the very first thing is we have our cover. And I think I want to put, I've got all my goodies here. I'm gonna go ahead and take one of my pattern papers and put that in first. And then I'm gonna take one of my paper bundles, the plain paper, and stick that inside. You can design this however you want, okay? But just keep putting it inside each other. So now I'm gonna take a paper bag and stick that in there. And time for another pattern paper. So I'm gonna stick that in. Then I think I'm gonna do um, one of these scraps down here. So I think with the scraps, we um, should fold them this way on some of them. And I'm going to stick that here, and it'll create a, po a double pocket right here. See that? So let's go ahead and stick that there. And then, um, let's see. Then we're going to do another paper bundle. Stick that here. And then another paper bag. I think I like this brown one. Stick that kind of in the center. We're going to have to trim this a little bit. That's okay, though. And then I'm going to take this scrap and just kind of make it like a cute decorative flippy page and then another piece of pattern paper I think I'll do the graph paper let's see do it this way okay so it's getting kind of thick but we're okay still and then I'm gonna go ahead and take this cute glassine bag and stick it in there. And another batch of the white paper. Another pattern paper. Okay, so I'm gonna do one more scrap. I'm gonna fold it this way. Actually, I want this cute one. So I'm gonna do another scrap like this and put it here. One more pattern paper. And then our envelope is gonna go like this. And we're gonna put the binding here and then seal it like this. I didn't glue them down yet. So, okay, let's see what we have so far. This is our cute, this is our junk journal so far. I'm gonna go ahead and take the paper trimmer and trim some of these bags down. And so now we need to go ahead and sew it together. Skillshare has a ton of classes and I have always wanted to learn how to properly pamphlet stitch something. So let me go ahead and show you. It's super easy. Okay, so to get a good pamphlet stitch, you need to take all your pages and make sure they're perfectly straight and, you know, lined up. And of course we have our envelope here, so I'm gonna stick that. Make sure the crease is right in the middle there and you just kind of get that out of my way. And you're gonna take one of these little pokey things. I really don't know what they're called. 
I got this one um, online. I got it on Amazon, and it's the We Are Memory Keepers, and I think it's like a brad setter, but on this end, it has like this pokey thing, and I think you can get an all, and it's like O. L W or O W L. I don't really know how to spell it and they're really cheap so I'm gonna try to find um, some of these and I'll link them below I brought in this like chipboard piece so you can see what I'm doing better so it's not like white on white okay so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take some paper clips and clip this down and um, I don't really know. Yeah, let's go ahead and clip that in there. So let's slide that in there. So that way we have it all centered and it's ready to go. Okay, so now the pages aren't going to move around on you. We've got them all clipped in. I just want to make sure this center is there. Okay, so once you have them all clipped in, I know it kind of looks funny right now, but I'm just, I'm our journal is now like horizontal facing and you're gonna make three holes and I don't measure I just eyeball it so I'm gonna eyeball the center take my little pokey tool and push a hole through all the way through all the papers and then we're just gonna eyeball two more holes one near the top and then one near the bottom so I'm gonna go ahead and do that Okay, so now we've got our hole here and here. We need to make one down at the bottom. So I'm just gonna go ahead and eyeball this again. And poke my hole. So I actually don't really recommend this one. It keeps this little tip keeps falling out and I think those all tools are much more sturdy and they like are connected better to the tool so I really don't recommend this one but I'll try to find the alls and I'll link them below okay so now we have our journal and we're still gonna keep it clipped together for now while we're sewing it so I'm sure you're realizing when I was poking the holes that I was on the wrong side of the envelope. So I just flipped it over and poked holes again because it's going to seal this way, not this way because the tape is here. But anyways, so I'm just using this embroidery floss and I got it at Tuesday morning and it has like all these really bright, pretty colors, but it doesn't really go that well with my muted um, kind of artsy journal. So I'm going to show you how to sew this and I'm sorry it's white thread. Hopefully you can still see it. So the first thing you're going to do is take your thread through the middle hole and pull it through and then just leave a little bit of a tail. Okay, so then you're going to go and now you're on the outside of your journal and you're going to go in the top hole. So go back in through the top hole. It's really easy. See, here's the needle. And then you're going to go all the way down to the bottom hole and go back through. Make sure it's like pulling it tight as you go. So now here's what you have and you're going to go back through the middle hole. And that is a pamphlet stitch. Isn't that easy? So now you've got to make sure that the outside is nice and pulled tight. and the inside you can just remove your needle now I know it's a little bit hard to see because it's white but now what you have are you have the two strings that came through the middle and so you've got this middle piece here make sure each of the strings are on either side of this middle piece pull it tight so that way everything's nice and tight and then just go ahead and tie this in a double knot And you know me, I'm just going to tie it in a triple knot. Be careful with your um, embroidery thread or whatever this is, embro embroidery floss, because I don't know how, you know, sturdy yours is. And then I just like to snip that off. So now the binding in the middle here is officially going to be covered with our pretty envelope. So let's remove these paper clips now. And go ahead and seal down our envelope. I'm just going to peel this off seal our envelope 
Isn't that cute? And now it's like a little tuck spot in our journal. And here is the journal. Oh my goodness, I am so excited, you guys, about this. I've never made a junk journal before. This is our first one we made together. And it's gorgeous. I'm gonna take my bone folder and just kind of go over this. And let's go ahead and take a look at our gorgeous junk journal. So apparently I thought I was recording and I wasn't, so I already glued some of the pockets down. <laughs> but I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. Okay, so let's do a flip through of our pretty journal. Isn't this cover just gorgeous? And then you've got more paper. Look at all this journaling space that we have. And then I'm in love with this combo. I'm so glad that we put this craft glassine bag on top of this gorgeous paper because look how pretty it is together. So that is a perfect little spot for goodies. And you've got the pretty paper here. And this is what I was talking about. This is one of those little mini scraps and I glued this and this down and made it into a pocket. Isn't that awesome? Then you've got more journaling pages. I love that. This is the four batch. And then, this is cool, you have another tuck spot with that paper bag and you can go ahead and decorate it with like the cut aparts from the collection. Here was another scrap that was just flipping over and so I made another pocket. I glued here and here. And so you can stick all kinds of goodies in there and ephemera pieces. And I thought that was a good idea and then you can do journaling down there. So let's keep flipping. Here is more journaling pages and the cute little clear glassine bag with all these journaling pages. Another beautiful pattern page. So pretty, right? So here's another one of the flippies. So let's go ahead and glue this. So all you're gonna do to glue this down is just take the flippy page, take your glue and use wet glue on this and do a bead of glue here and at the bottom. And you have an instant pocket. Check this out. Just go ahead and glue it down, press it down, and you have a pocket. And it just takes just a second to dry. And isn't that cool? Now it added color to this white page and you can put stuff in there. And then, oh my gosh, one of my favorite pages right here. And then here's our middle where we have our envelope that we can stick tons of goodies in and it's hiding our binding. And then we've got the next half. So should we make this into a pocket too? I think we should. So we're gonna glue right here and the bottom. And you know, you can take out your sewing machine and sew this as well. I just don't have a sewing machine. I would need my mom to do it. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and glue it. And then of course, got the other side of the gorgeous paper, more journaling. And then we've got the other side of the glassine bag and I do need to cut this off right here so it will be a pocket. And you can decorate this however you want, but now look, it's a cute little tuck spot and I love the sound of that. And you can decorate any of these pages however you want. So here's this. I think I'm going to go ahead and leave this just like a little flippy extra journaling spot and not make it into a pocket. And then you've got the other end of the brown paper bag right here. More journaling paper. Then you've got this. I've got to make that into a pocket. I think that's so cute. So let's glue the side and the bottom. I just love this, it's so easy. So, I mean, this didn't take us that long and it used up seven pieces of 12 by 12 paper. So you can make, you know, out of one paper pad, which I think this one had, let's see. This has 48 sheets. So you could make like almost seven. You could make, you could pretty much make seven of these journals out of one paper pad and you would have killed that paper pad. And this did not take that long. And so just see what you have in your stash and look at, look at this again, you guys. This gorgeous page with this beautiful, like, transparent craft. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Let's go ahead and cut this off so we have a pocket. And I like that it's a little short pocket. That's so cute. To 
put goodies in and it's a little tuck spot. Okay, more journaling pages and then we're coming to the end with our pattern paper and the back cover. And there's our binding that we sewed. I don't know if you can make that out. There it is. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy with this project. Like, I know it wasn't perfect. I made mistakes along the way, but I fixed them. And, you know, with the little envelope situation. But this was just so fun. I mean, the possibilities are endless with these. And I think I am going to go ahead and round all my corners because I like to protect the corners. And these will get bent if I don't. But, um,. You can decorate the, the cover any way you want. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera and I'll be right back to show you what I did. So I decided this paper was just too gorgeous to cover up. And so I just made a cute little label that says remember. Pretty much so I think I will stick this like on the front cover or something. I don't know. But I'm just absolutely in love with this. Look how pretty this would look. Maybe stuck that inside there. Now that would be gorgeous. So... With these scraps that we have left, we have our big scraps left. You can do so many things with these. Look at these, you guys. Aren't these cute? They're little mini policy envelopes. So remember the scraps that we had that look like this? I made these really easily using our scraps. So here they are. Aren't they cute? They have a little notch right here. And they are so much easier than you think. So let's go ahead and I'm going to show you how to use these scraps that we have left. So see this project is really truly using up the entire page, the entire 12 by 12 page. So what you should have left is three and a half inches because you cut this at eight and a half before. So what that is, is I'm just cutting off this strip. So you should have had seven of these scraps. Um, one I kind of messed up on and I cut it. I was going to do something else with it. So that one's not going to be made into a policy envelope or, you know what? These are more like seed, little mini seed packets. So whatever you want to call them. So what you're going to do is you're just going to take your three by 12 and you're just going to eyeball this. So I like to fold it up until I have you know, an approximate little envelope flap. So this is approximately one and a half inches. It's a little bit more um, than one and a half, but you can eyeball it, like I said. So what you've done is you've just folded your page up, and then you need to use something to make the little notch. See, I have a little notch right there. On these ones, I have that kind of notch. And so I'm going to show you, I have this little guy right here, it's just a circle punch and it's super small and you just, you know, stick this like this and punch it out half a half circle. But what I figured out I like to do, what you're doing is you're taking your page, you're unfolding it and just, this is the part that you fold it up. So you're taking it, just center it on your punch board and it punches a cute little notch, see? And so then you have that. Isn't that cool? So you can use any of your punches that you have. So then just take your bone folder and just kind of um, crease where you're gonna fold that flap down. And go ahead and fold it down so you know where it's gonna be. And just crease your folds really good. And then you have this, and then I take my corner rounder and round the corners of the flap. So I'm using my quarter inch side on my We Are Memory Keepers corner rounder. And now it looks more like a little envelope, see? So now you just need to glue the sides. And if you have a sewing machine, this is perfect for that. You can sew down the two sides. So I just like to go ahead and open it, take my glue, and use wet glue for this for sure. So whatever you put in there does not get stuck because the wet glue dries clear and flexible and it is completely dry. Okay, so I just added glue to the two sides and now you just simply glue it down. So I like to let it go ahead and dry just for a second and because this is gonna be the structure of our envelope and it's gonna hold the sides together, I like to really, really press it down with my bone folder to make sure it's all sealed. 
and sturdy and everything. So there we go. We have these cute little seed packets made out of our scraps. And you can even put these in your junk journal if you want to. You can just make a bunch of them. You can decorate the fronts of them if you want. Like, wouldn't this be fun to take these words and cut them out and put like one word on each or one phrase on each of these? That would be really cute and fun. And this is the cut apart sheet, by the way, from that paper pad that we're using. So I just think that that's so fun to use with the scraps. And the only other scraps we had were the ones that we folded in half, these little ones that I didn't end up putting in the journal because I didn't want it to be too bulky. But you can make these into just little journaling spots, these little flippy pages, and stick them in the pockets in your journal. And I just love how our journal came out. You can make a clean and simple one just like this with just a few little tuck-ins here and there. So I want to thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope that you're enjoying this mini series to use up your paper. And I just want to say that reading your comments and, and just your support for my channel is so wonderful and it just makes my day every time I read the comments. And I just want to thank you all for being so kind. And I also want to give another quick shout out to Nazi, Jessica, and Rebecca for being the inspiration for me to make this junk journal. And the, all their channels will be linked below. So thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Check the links in the description. All the products and everything will be down there. And I hope you all have a great week. Bye!